as I've mentioned, uh, we do have effective medications to address the motor symptoms, or at least to, to address chorea. We have two other FDA-approved VMAT, VMAT2 inhibitors, and now valbenazine is the third. And so we're, we're uh, extremely excited to have another option for our patients and, and their families. Uh, we have other medications that we use for chorea if, in fact, our patients are struggling with psychiatric symptoms. Uh, we may not use significant psychiatric symptoms. We may need to use a different class of medications, and there are several from which to choose. But the motor symptoms, as I mentioned earlier, are only uh, you know, part of, of the symptom triad. We have effective, relatively effective medications when it comes to addressing the psychiatric symptoms, at least most of the psychiatric symptoms, not all of the psychiatric symptoms. And we still need to make progress uh, in, in treating the cognitive symptoms. We do not yet have an FDA-approved medication to address the cognitive symptoms that our, our patients struggle with. And the cognitive symptoms are uh, can be uh, very problematic and, and lead to uh, disability um, and uh, an inability to, to function independently. There actually is a clinical trial underway to evaluate uh, the safety and efficacy of a medication for Huntington's related cognitive decline. Uh, so we're optimistic about the outcome of, of that trial. Um, so we have a, a great deal of progress to make, uh, most importantly in the disease modifying realm, but there's still work to be done even in the symptomatic realm. Most importantly though, we want to um, just acknowledge that um, we, we are making progress uh, um, not fast enough for any of our in any of our, our patients with Huntington's disease or their families. So um, we need to continue to work uh, work hard behind the scenes to help uh, address the um, the symptoms of this devastating neurologic disease.